to pay attention because we're wrapping up now commanding the supernatural part two we're examining the dynamics of the anointing the necessity for the anointing there are two principal platforms for impartation i want you to learn this now there are two principal platforms for impartation number one you can have an impartation directly from god impartation directly from god an example of this we see is first kings first kings chapter 3 when we begin our reading from verse 3 first kings chapter 3 from verse 3 down to 13 write it for reference please first kings 3 from verse 3 to 13 this was an encounter that solomon had with god he received the impartation of the grace and the anointing for understanding and wisdom directly from god solomon loved the lord walking in the statutes of his of david his father only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places the king went to gibeon and sacrificed there and he offered the sacrifice upon the altar verse 5 the bible says god came to solomon the lord appeared to solomon in a dream by night and god said ask what i shall give thee and solomon said thou hast shown unto thy servant david my father great mercy according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness in uprightness of heart with thee and thou hast kept for him this great kindness thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day what a good introduction and now O lord my god thou hast made thy servant king instead of david my father and i am but a little child i know not how to go out or how to come in and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered or counted for multitude give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that i may discern between good and bad for who is able to judge these thy great people every legal practitioner should pray this prayer hearing is a secret to excel in your legal practice this man is praying and saying i need to judge people i need grace from you because these people are great the complications around their lives i need an anointing more than just my technical know-how the bible says and the speech pleased the lord that solomon asked this thing almost there and god said unto him because thou hast asked this thing and has not asked for thyself long life do you know that there are graces controlling this long life or ask riches or ask the life of your enemies but you have asked understanding to discern judgment here's what god gave him behold i have done according to thy words i have given thee who gave him god directly i've given you a wise and an understanding heart so that there was none like thee before thee neither shall neither after thee shall any rise like unto you last verse and i have also given thee that which thou hast not asked both riches how do you give riches did he give him money so what exactly is riches god is saying i'm giving you something now i'm giving you riches i'm giving you honor so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto you all thy days solomon woke up in the morning and supernatural manifestation of wisdom with wisdom came wealth and every other thing you can receive directly from god number two what is the second platform for receiving impartation impartation can come as impartation from the careers of the anointing or the second way you can receive the anointing now is impartation from the careers of the anointing it is true that there are men that carry this anointing in matthew chapter 25 and verse 9 the parable of the ten virgins remember the foolishness of the five virgins they were all virgins 
So it was not about the issue of being in the fold or not being in the fold. Their foolishness was because they did not know how to access the anointing. Here was the recommendation given to them. The wise answered saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us. He says, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy. When it has to do with the anointing, there are those who sell. The word sell there does not just mean, it means exchange. There are custodians of the anointing. It says, if you want the anointing, go to them that sell and buy. How do you buy it? You buy with honor. You buy with meekness. These are currencies. Every dimension of anointing you need in your life today believe me there are vessels that carry it bodily right now under a certain condition it can flow freely to you there are three conditions that you must satisfy if you must receive the anointing from careers number one is called genuine connection or genuine followership the first condition you want to receive the anointing from a genuine career of it you need genuine heart-to-heart -heart connection genuine followership as we see in the case of elijah and elisha second kings chapter 2 from verse 1 to 15 just write it for reference second kings chapter 2 from verse 1 to 15 So three conditions if you want to receive impartation from a vessel that has been trusted by God. Number one is genuine connection. Number two, honor. I've taught you here that honor is the key for access. Honor. What is honor? The discerning, the celebrating, and if need be the rewarding of people for their uniqueness. genuine connection condition number one honor condition number two number three service service is a jackpot gateway into the anointing now let's look at a few instances of impartation and then we'll be ready to pray numbers chapter 11 we'll read 16 and 17 then we'll go to 24 and 25 this was moses now and the lord said unto moses gather unto me 70 men of the elders of israel whom thou knowest to be elders of the people notice those who were qualified for the impartation he did not gather children and lay hands on them an elder is one who has an advantage of knowledge and if need be experience i'm not saying god cannot anoint children but this is just to draw a lesson from it people who have been worked upon prepared whom thou knowest to be elders of the people and officers over them and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation that they may stand here with thee 17 and i will come down and talk with thee there and i will take of the spirit which is upon thee and I will put it upon them and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee that thou bear it not thyself alone this is what God does not want this already cancels away this obsession for superstar Christianity where just one person carries the anointing when you see most men of God stand like superstars they really don't want to be superstars is because most people have not paid the price to be partakers of that grace indeed you're not going to receive an anointing from a man of god with pride and carelessness and lack of discernment everybody who carries anything from god knows that it is the grace of god but believe me there was a price behind it and nobody would throw away anything valuable just on the floor are we together but then sadly there are other people who enjoy that obsession and would never give people a chance to partake of that grace Isaiah 9 8 remember when he sent a word to Jacob it lighted upon Israel that means every time God anoints one person it is not just to remain with you you should be a distribution channel so that many other people can partake of that grace let's go back to our scripture 
where we were reading numbers 11 24 and 25 we have to rush numbers 11 24 and 25 and moses went out and told the people the words of the lord and gathered the 70 men and the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle verse 25 and the lord came down in a cloud and spake unto them and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it to the 70 elders and it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them they prophesied when the spirit rested upon them they prospered when the spirit rested upon them they became wise if the spirit rests upon you something must happen it is impossible the spirit there means the grace the grace cannot come upon you and you remain the same it's impossible when the spirit rested the bible didn't say when the spirit came to rest means you have found a habitation the anointing can come but it may not rest the performance happens for those who allow the anointing to rest genuine connection honor and service last scripture numbers chapter 27 from verse 18 and to 20 oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh, Yahweh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done, Yahweh. Yahweh. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom Let your come. Will be done. Yahweh. 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 Hear me. We have gotten to the crescendo of this service, and I want you to be sensitive. Believe me when I tell you, you have come for this service to receive something tonight. Numbers chapter 27 and the Lord said unto Moses take thee Joshua the son of Nun a man in whom the spirit is already on but there are dimensions that are not yet there lay thy hands upon him 19 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight Verse 20, and thou shalt put some of your honor. You see that honor is a grace. It is transferable. Put some of your honor upon him that all the congregation of the children of Israel might be obedient. If that grace is not on you as a leader, nobody will listen to you. You can be as disciplined as anything, but if that grace is on you, you will Surprised that your words will fall on deaf ears. Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9. Deuteronomy 34 and verse 